this is Irina Slutsky reporting on location in San Francisco at the Scientology protest organized by Anonymous. Hi, we're here in the trenches with a protester who obviously doesn't want to be known. He's known as Anonymous. And Anonymous, can you tell us why you're here and what you're protesting exactly? I'm protesting Scientology. I'm here because I don't think Scientology is a religion that should be joined. It's more of a cult. You have to pay to join and raise in the ranks. You know, your, your sign here says religion should be free. As far as I can remember, doesn't religion want your soul? Uh, yeah, but they don't, generally religion doesn't want your money. And they don't want to rise in the ranks to get to the highest level, OT7 or OT8, it costs about 300. Is that Overlord Tom? Overlord Tom who? Overlord Tom Cruise, OT7. Uh, <laughs> so what sort of tactics is Anonymous using to protest Scientology? Well, as you see today, we're doing real life protests. Now, since there are so many Anonymous members, quote unquote Anonymous members, we get people from all, like, you know, all backgrounds and everything. Now, we do have hackers. We do have hackers that have uh, denial of the service attacks on Scientology websites. We do not actually can like we don't actually promote that we think that we there's other means of doing it but people have uh, sh more or less try to shut down the Scientologist website um, mass faxes to Scientologist churches by using uh, all black black faxing as we call it and uh, I personally do not uh, do not promote that kind of idea because that is illegal yeah my name's Tom Cruiser and uh, tell us what is it exactly about Scientology that that you're protesting Scientology kills people and they break up families. Um, but so do like really good looking women. Be aware if someone that you know disappears or they, they get involved with a cult like this, they start having to spend a lot of extra time and a lot of extra money. Um, kind of like World of Warcraft. Hi, I'm here with somebody who joined Scientology and came out alive. Hi, I'm Lawrence Wallersheim. I was in Scientology for about 11 years. I, was, uh, I worked at Celebrity Center and I rose up to the high levels of uh, management. I also have been through most of the secret initiations. Can you tell us like one um, secret initiation thing? Well, the famous one is Zimu and OT3. But I saw, you know, that Ann Archer thing and Juliette Lewis that was on BBC, and they all laughed when they mentioned that. So they were saying, what? That, that doesn't really exist. Well, it does exist, it does. and they, they can't say it. My court case actually released the, the document that they use in science, inside of Scientology. It's the first time it ever became part of the court record, mm -hmm. which showed and explained how they believe that they're from outer space mm -hmm. and they're here to reconquer Earth and that each human being is really hundreds of thousands of aliens fighting for control of a body. I just have two aliens two fighting aliens. for control of my body. <laughs> Does anyone want to help her control those aliens? Do you still know anybody who is in Scientology that you still speak to or? Um, not, they don't talk to you once you leave. But there is one person that the whole world is looking for right now. Mm -hmm. His name is Mike Rinder. He was the second command in Scientology and he has disappeared. Mm -hmm. And this man should get protection and care and he should be watched over and helped because he knows where all the money is. Mm -hmm. He knows where all the intelligence files on foreign dignitaries, foreign government people are because Scientology spies on foreign um, government heads and economic leaders, anyone they consider a threat, and they have all these secret files on all these world leaders. And Mike Rinder knows where those files are. So this is a man who needs help, and his case should be brought to the public, and people should become aware of it. And just really quickly, uh, what is an example of you going nuts? Um, well, if you're told that you're really not one human being while you're in hypnotic trance, and that hundreds or thousands of aliens are fighting for control of your body and these aliens can talk to you and make you sick, give you cancer and drive you nuts. Is that a good enough example? Hi everybody, I'm here with Tom Cruise. He's like kind of the most famous member of Scientology. And so Tom, tell us like, so what has Scientology done for you? Oh, it's okay, you can tell me. Dude, no. I've like seen like every of you. Oh my God, we're skipping this. Can I, I see your underwear? Uh, I've never seen oh that. Oh my god. So, how's Katie? So, what was it like jumping up on the couch? 
Do you like Oprah? Was being in Scientology, did that help you with the Nazi movie? Randy, tell us how you've been helped by Scientology. Um, my name's Randy, I'm a Scientologist, and I was cured of my homosexuality. Wait, I'm sorry, you were cured of your yeah, homosexuality? It's, yeah. it's an illness, like a... You're saying you're not gay? No, no, I'm completely cured. You were gay before, and you're not gay right now? Exactly. I also had colitis and asthma, and I was cured of that too through Scientology. What is colitis exactly? Um, it's an affliction in the intestinal tract. Okay, normally you have to get surgery for that. Yeah, but it's fun. You just read Dianetics and it just comes right out. Okay. Yeah. How did Scientology cure you of being gay? Um, it's, it's a long process, but um, you just become clear. Um, for pre-clears like you, it's a little hard to understand, but there's a long process. And it's Are you calling me pre-clear? Yes. You're pre-clear. I'm clear, you're not. <laughs> what would I have to do to get clearer? Um, I can't tell you that. You have to go in the building. Okay. Just go in there and, okay. and check it out. Okay? okay. Wanna come with me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, here, hold this. <laughs>